It's barely news. Okay. Yeah. First up, uh, we've got uh, what I'm going to say is an expected story about Amazon drone deliveries. This is basically goes along with what we've said for a while. Um, Amazon has barely delivered anything so far, or as this wonderful headline says, Amazon drones uh, have reportedly delivered to fewer houses than there are words in this headline. Oh my goodness, that's a great headline. That is a great headline. Um, and it is true, because uh, basically they've delivered to as few as seven houses as the report, two in California and five in Texas total. And they are citing issues with the FAA and trying to organize flights over the road and get uh, everything worked out for these flights. So um, it sounds like they're being stifled into not being able to do many of these deliveries, and the ones they are doing are working okay, but uh, not great. So I think as we expected, uh, all this stuff was sized down. Uh, a lot of people got fired from the department, um, and now we're seeing them do basically no deliveries and get stifled by the FAA. I'm thinking... Uh, it's not long for this world. Yeah. Amazon's Amazon. just going to stick to, uh, you know, underpaid truck drivers peeing in bottles running around uh, to deliver their stuff. They are the drones. Okay. Fortunately true. <laughs> next up. Next up. Next up, we've got a mobile FPV sim by Nate Harms FPV. Uh, he made a little simulator. I believe he made this in seven days uh, as a learning tool uh, and Whoa. stuff. But he... Yeah, seven-day challenge to build a mobile FPV sim. And, uh, yeah, he did that. So if you want to check it out, you can do that. Uh, it's pretty cool. We've got a link down in the show notes for the APK. I remember uh, a couple of years ago uh, that Vanover and Minchan had this mobile sim they like to play. It was only available for uh, iPhone. And they would race on it. And they would just be sitting there. Well, Vanover... Uh, well, Minjan wasn't there. That's the beauty of the internet. And he'd be racing on this thing, just like this, with your fingers on the screen, and going as fast as Vanover always goes. And I thought, how can you possibly, how can you possibly do that? Like, uh, get a good result out of a simulator with your fingers on the screen. But uh, apparently it's a thing. So there you go. Very cool. And it's uh, it's yeah. free? No, it's pay what you want. Is that right? It's free. Yeah, it's itch.io, so it's free. You don't have to pay any money if you don't want. Uh, yeah. Or if you would like to, you can give them some money. Uh, but yeah, it's free. Your own price. Yeah, it's nice. got active development and stuff. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. So if you want to check out something somebody made pretty quick, I've heard pretty good things about it. And uh, it seems perfect for It's Barely News. Nice. If you buy it, if you get it for free and then decide that you don't like you like it, you could always, uh, you don't like it, you just you know, forget it, delete it. If you decide that you like it, you can always just uh, buy it again and give them a little cash. All righty, Plenty, what do we got next? All right, next up is uh, drones are being used instead of drop towers for gravity experiments. And this is one of those applications that I think a lot of people who are not in any of these industries have any idea about. Uh, and it's pretty cool. Because basically, um, this company... Uh, figured out that you could use quadcopters for uh, dropping capsules that need to be weightless, right? So they've been oh, previously I doing see. experiments where you get rights to go up um, in a like a thing where you sign up for a service, basically. So there's a drop tower, but um, they said basically you need to wait several years. There's a huge long access list for it, and the drop tower only gives you uh, like like two or three seconds of weightlessness. Um, and this can do five to 20 seconds based on elevation uh, with just a drone. So yeah. pretty cool that this like uh, factor of testing can now be a lot easier and simpler for people. Neat. Oh, that's the perfect thing for a drone. Yeah. Very cool. We've got a couple other uh, stories about good things that drones are doing. Yeah, we got a hiker that was found uh, by a drone. He was stranded and uh, reached by search and rescue because because uh, a drone found him out in the out in the wilderness, out in the country. Just just to be clear, this is not the drone. This appears to be a helicopter. Uh, I was confused there for a moment when I saw the hiker. I was like, "Whoa! Is the is a drone lifting that hiker into the air?" No. Uh, we got any drone footage? Come on, give us drone footage, baby. I think, I think later on there is some footage. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but you know, Blunty, rescuing hikers, that's all well and good, but rescuing sheep, now that's way cuter. 
Yeah. Um, so yeah, much the same in the same respect. Uh, yeah, they got a drone out here to rescue uh, this sheep. Uh, so yeah, he couldn't figure out what was going on and was able to get a uh, a drone to figure out what was going on with these sheep, and then get him get him saved and rescued. Oh, what happened to the sheep? Are they just like stuck in the mud? Oh, yeah, the they mom both... and two lambs. Yeah. I see. Yeah, poor sheep. There's a beautiful color on that camera. The green is beautiful. Oh, no, the mom is stuck. <gasps> oh, no. What's wrong with her? Is she, is she, she doesn't look well. Has she injured herself? Doesn't look good. Oh, that's a bad scene. Is she okay? Does she does she hop right back up? Come on. Let's get her up and out of there. Oh, that's a that's a that's not a good scene. Hopefully mom is alive and well and was just a little she was just yeah, just a little confused or tired. I have to know. Yeah, the she's been struggling for a long time, so I see. She was like stuck in the mud and was just tired out. Yeah, but she oh, did she... leave of her own accord after a little rest, so. Okay. Okay, that's good. Yeah, get on out of there, Mama. All right, we have to get the happy ending. No, he's still dragging her around. Okay, come on now. <laughs> oh, there she there she goes. She's not, not entirely. She's got some recovery to do. Okay. All right. Well, that's the best I think we're going to get. <laughs> oh. Oh, right. Uh, next up. Next up, uh, we've got a drone that saved a puppy uh, that was stuck in, a, in, the, uh, in the drain. Oh, my God. A puppy being lifted by a drone. Why, does it, why was a drone needed to do this? Why not just like have a human do it? Like, yeah, I can't it, tell you the answer to that. It does seem like that rope could have been lifted by a human. I mean, I would agree. Okay, I hate to tell you this, Blunty. This is <laughs> this is fake. This is fake. How did how did the dog? Go, okay, no, no, this is fake. Sorry, this is clickbait. How did the dog get into that harness? That's why this is barely news because we're gonna we're just showing a good story and then we're moving on. No, this, I'm sorry. This, I, this is, this is just people making shit content. Like, this is not far from the worst I've seen. This dude just put the dog in the harness and dropped him down there and then lifted him out with a drone. I was like, hey, we're going to get a million views. Let's see. 12,000 views. No, thumbs down. Fake. I disagree. I, I disagree. I only want real stories of drones saving animals. Like this one. <laughs> All right. Next up, uh, uh, we've got, yeah, just a story about a guy who has been uh, basically saving drones all over the world. Uh, he goes to disaster zones and uses his infrared drone to uh, to find animals who need rescuing and then save them. Oh, well, that's fantastic. That's a great use. Oh, yeah. I see a lot of information there. Oh, like this dog. Now, that's just his dog. Is that a rescue dog? Oh, yeah. Very nice. We're always a fan of people saving dogs with drones. 